Every day, scientists make new discoveries that help us to better understand the world around us. Sometimes these discoveries force us to question what we thought we knew about the universe. It has been a whirlwind of a year for science, with new discoveries and insights being published on a daily basis. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible discoveries by the scientific community. Secret Population of Blue Whales Discovered It is almost impossible to wrap our minds around how truly gargantuan the oceans of our planet are, both in scope and depth. And what is even harder to comprehend is just how much there is hidden within these waters that we do not know about and likely never will. For example, almost unbelievably, an entire population of pygmy blue whales was discovered in the Indian Ocean recently. This species grows up to 24 meters long. So how could an entire colony of animals that are individually as long as two city buses remain hidden from scientists and marine biologists for so long? It is partially because of the intense difficulty of finding life in the depths of the oceans, where humans cannot stay for long periods of time, and whose populations are always on the move. It has been impossible thus far to study every square meter of the existing aquatic habitats, and it is a testament to the sheer magnitude of the oceans that the remaining mysterious spaces are large enough to hide dozens of whales and their homes. Whales themselves are also very difficult to find, especially blue whales, because their numbers were bordering extinction due to whaling and have only recently begun to bounce back. The whales that are left are spread across a broad geographic expanse and usually live in very small groups, making it hard to pin them down. Surprisingly, the best way to find whales is to not look for their sheer size, but to listen for their unique sounds using hydrophones. In the Indian Ocean, there are very few passive acoustic monitoring stations set up, meaning that the potential for undiscovered populations is very high, so a team of marine ecologists set out to remedy this situation. They decided to use underwater nuclear bomb detectors through the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, shortened to CTBTO, which monitors global waters for signs of illegal nuclear testing. The CTBTO has a network of these nuclear bomb detectors throughout international waters and has years of past data storage. The scientists were able to use this data intended to keep the world peaceful for another purpose, discovering populations of whales. Blue whale calls are like the human language in that all whales use calls as a form of communication, but every population and subspecies have their own unique variations that are distinguishable from the rest. As the researchers analysed the CTBTO data, they realised that they were hearing a variation of the blue whale language that had not been heard before, which led to the discovery of the new pygmy blue whales, which were named the Chagos population, inspired by a group of islands in the Indian Ocean near where the colony lives. What is even more surprising is that the sounds of the Chagos population dominate the underwater acoustics of the area, and have for almost 18 years. This is according to the archived recordings, this means that it truly is an entirely undiscovered population, rather than one or two individuals who were separated from their main colony. The only question that remains is just how big this population is, which will require visual identification and further acoustic surveys. No matter the size, however, researchers are thrilled that they will be able to add numbers to the total count of the ocean's endangered blue whale population and hope that future analysis of CTBTO data will unveil even more hidden populations, whether blue whale or otherwise. Newly identified species of saber-toothed cat was so big it hunted rhinos in America. Scientists have identified a gigantic new saber-toothed cat species that would have prowled the wide regions of North America between 5 and 9 million years ago. Using comprehensive fossil comparison techniques, they've come to the conclusion that this would have been one of the largest cats ever discovered. According to this latest study, this new species has a body mass of around 274 kilograms. It is a prehistoric relative of the well-known Smilodon. 
To identify the new species, scientists investigated and compared fossil specimens, including upper limbs and teeth, with fossils gathered from museum collections in Oregon, Idaho, Texas, and California. One of the big stories of all of this is that we ended up uncovering specimen after specimen of this giant cat in museums across Western North America, says Gonzaga University paleontologist John. They were big cats. The age and size of the fossils provided an excellent starting point for researchers who then utilized digital photos and specialized software to uncover commonalities between the relics and, more importantly, differences from other cat species. The specimens all came from the same huge cat, and this cat was a previously unknown species. The teeth provided additional proof, although the researchers did say that the intricacies of how early saber-toothed cats were connected are fuzzy. The largest upper arm or humerus fossil discovered in the study was almost 1.4 times the size of the same bone in a modern-day lion. Rhinoceroses would have been plentiful at the time, and this new species of saber-toothed cat may have preyed on them, as well as camels and sloths, much larger than we are used to seeing in the modern day. While the iconic saber teeth have yet to be discovered, it is notable that this new species has been identified primarily from humerus bones, demonstrating what can be accomplished when cutting-edge analytical tools are combined with many hours of meticulous research. Researchers working on the project said the following, Giant cats have been known to exist in Europe, Asia, and Africa, and now we have our giant saber-toothed cat that lived in North America during this period. Either we have this ancient gigantic saber-toothed cat that scattered to all of those continents, or we have repeated separate evolution of this gigantic body size on every continent in what remains a relatively hyper-specialized mode of hunting. It's a fascinating paleontological puzzle. human-pig hybrid created in the lab. Sometimes scientific advances can greatly resemble the plot of a sci-fi novel, as is the case with the successful creation of human-animal hybrids, which was done with the hopes of creating a way to regrow human organs for life-saving transplants. A team of researchers from all over the world, led by the Salk Institute, has advanced one step closer to achieving that goal as they have created what is known as a chimera which is a viable organism that contains cells from two different and distinct species. In this case, those species are human and pig. And although public opinion is greatly against the idea of man-made life, so much so that public funding and grants were totally withheld from the project, which relied entirely on private donations, the researchers working with the Salk Institute hope to address a medical need through their experiments and decrease the number of deaths due to the lack of available organ transplants. Currently, a person is added to the National Organ Transplant waitlist every 10 minutes, and every hour, somebody on that list will pass away because they were not able to receive the organ that would have saved their life. The development of a system for readily available lab-grown organs could potentially save thousands of lives every year and totally change the way organ transplants are carried out. The researchers believe that the creation of a human chimera could be a safeguard for humans, rather than the Frankenstein's monster that many imagine when they think of these experiments. Previously, experiments had been successfully performed by creating a chimera formed by injecting a mouse with stem cells from a rat, and it was this body of research that the scientists looked towards as they embarked on their own experiments. It was found in the initial experiments with rats and mice that when the genes for certain organs were deleted in the mice and the rat stem cells for those organs were introduced back into the mice, the organs were able to flourish and grow. The Salk researchers then applied these principles to pigs who have surprisingly similar organ structures to humans. Through a considerable amount of trial and error, they found that injecting a pig embryo with human stem cells that had already differentiated slightly appeared to allow the pig embryo to continue to develop. The embryos were then implanted and allowed to develop in utero before they were removed again and studied. They discovered that human cells were indeed present, although in low percentages that appeared to slow the development of the embryos. However, this resulting chimera was a scientific breakthrough nonetheless. The high percentage of pig cells remaining means that a human would likely reject the organs in a transplant, 
But after overcoming some of the larger hurdles preventing the human cells from proliferating, scientists believe that they could be on the verge of a breakthrough for life-saving organ transplants. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.